older, and uh, when I when I look for uh, direction, I don't search for the fastest routes anymore. I look for the safest routes. Because every intersection there's a lot of danger. So I, I want to see where there's places where there's stop signs and red lights. It says, no, you can't be like that now. You're afraid of this? And when I was young, I used to say this about other people. So in different stages of life, uh, their abilities and their responses and their adaptability to situations it affect, it's affected when you get older. Now, when there's a lot of things that are, are affecting me, I become overwhelmed. I become very frustrated. How come that I didn't I wasn't like this when I was young? Was it because when I was younger I was stronger? Maybe I was smarter? Maybe if we try harder we can work through it? No, that's not the case. The Bible says we should be thankful. And when we are young, we are relying on God's grace to carry through. It's God's providence that carries us through. That, that watches over us and carries and, and works with us. In every phase of our lives, we have different dangers. But there is always a lesson that God wants to teach us. Uh, Pastor Sam Ling once said this. Uh, a lot of homework that we didn't learn in the past. And that even as we grow up and grow older, we will continue to learn that lesson. Until we have truly learned the lesson. And Jacob here is continuing to learn the lesson that God wants to teach him. And even uh, 20 years uh, previously, in many different circumstances, he was learning the same lesson. How to put aside his self-centeredness and pride. To learn to trust in God alone. And as we look at Jacob's life, and when he was young, he was actually very wily. Uh, he, he was a very quick thinker. A lot of things that it goes through his mind. And whatever he wanted to do, he would quickly do it. And to get what he wanted, and he would do anything to get what he wanted. He wouldn't be afraid or he wouldn't have weakened the knees. He had courage to, to deceive his brother. To, to pretend to be his brother and to, and to lie to his father so that he can take his 
this brother's blessing. And he has the courage to walk 500 miles to his uncle's house. And out of and, and for love, he's willing to sell himself. And he never sighed. So, but when, when Jacob needed to learn God's lesson, and when he wanted to get the things that he wanted, at the same time, he's caused a lot of pain and suffering. When he does things in his own way to grab what he wants, he destroys a lot of relationships. And even in, within our lives, in many ways we've done the same thing. We brought pain to the people around us. Perhaps to our own family with our brothers and sisters. Maybe in our marriage relationships. And in the way that we raise our children. And even within the midst of relationships in the church. And even at work. There's lots of people that are injured. Uh, a lot of scarring. And in this fallen world, we, we live by protecting ourselves. We, we protect our image. Very, very few people would be willing to reconcile with people. Well, we do something wrong, we just pretend nothing happened. Uh, don't, don't open wounds. Don't open that can of worms. I don't want to be injured again. Let time heal it. Brothers and sisters, does that happen? It's very hard. It's very hard. It's very difficult. You know, once I think about that person who's injured me, I get angry. I stay away from them however I can. When he walks from the left, I will go to the right. Maybe opposite of this. And when I think about the, the, the time that I've been hurt, that I've been hurt by so many people. There's a lot of uh, guilt within my own heart. That we don't have a forgiving relationship. We're not, we're not forgiving of other people. That has taken away a lot of believers' uh, joy and peace. It's taken away our ability and our strength to serve. Uh, because Jacob is trying to avoid Esau's uh, Persecution. <laughs> He's chasing him, killing him. He's leaving his father's home. And as he goes away, and uh, in, in chapter 28, God comes to Jacob in Bethel. The angel comes to him. 
啊，即係神應許佢 promise 佢就話神會與與佢同在。And the, through the angel, God promised to be with Jacob. 啊，嗰度佢話將佢同在，我要帶佢會帶翻佢翻嚟去佢父親嘅屋企。That he will bring Jacob back to his father's land. 啊，然之後就喺跟住嗰嗰嚟嗰二十年嘅裡面。And within and in those twenty years， 就喺佢舅父拉班屋企。He lived in Laban's house, his father-in-law. 喺嗰度。神藉著各樣嘅誒患難 ，and through and through many trials， 啊，就藉著各樣嘅患難去磨練佢。God molded Jacob， 啊，去去塑造佢，去改變佢。To shape him and change him， 啊，亦都改變佢個屬靈嘅品格。To change his character and his spiritual life， 啊，喺嗰度嘅時候。While he was there, 就要佢知道佢一切所追求嘅呢啲嘅物質嘅福分。All the material things that he was searching for. 啊，佢一切佢一向咗追求啊，佢嗰咗嗰啲財富同埋權力。All the riches and power that he was seeking. 其實都喺背後嗰位睇唔見嘅神。But it comes from God, the one that he could not see. 啊，嗰嗰位神去去供應俾佢，保守佢。同埋引導佢。God is the one that gives him all things that protects him and leads him。啊，喺咁樣將咁多嘢經過嘅時候。And he went through so many things。啊，讓佢知道。And he learned。啊，嗰位睇唔見嘅神。That the God that he could not see。啊，唔係人自己，係嗰位睇唔見嘅神。It's not man himself, but it's the God that he could not see。係神先，即係萬物。真正嘅主宰。God is the Almighty, real, true Almighty God. 啊，神先至系人可以去倚靠嘅。And God is the only one that we can depend on. 啊，今日系嚟到第三廿二章。And today, as we come to chapter thirty-two. 啊，当雅各佢而家话佢要翻翻去佢父亲屋企啦。呃 ，Now as he has to go back to his father's home. 啊，喺第第。第第二節佢話天使喺馬哈念呢個地方。啊、uh, ，the the the angel in Mahanim 啊，就再一次嘅去向佢顯現。comes and reveals himself to him again。啊，喺嗰度佢會知道。and he's telling him 啊，當佢想話重新開始有自己嘅生活嘅時候。that as you want he wants to have a new beginning for himself。啊當佢要重新開始嘅時候，佢要跟住神嘅心意去做。That he has to follow the will of God。啊，去做嗰啲正確嘅事情。To do what is right before the Lord。啊，就喺佢嘅生命嘅裏面去榮耀神。That he must glorify God in what he does。就係話要去修復啊 ，restore 佢一手。做出嚟嗰個破碎關係。That he must go and restore his relationships that he's broken。啊！而家卅二，而且喺三十二章嘅下半部。And in the, the latter half of chapter thirty-two， 啊，神都教導佢話啦，雅各最緊要嘅功課係乜嘢咧 ？That Jacob's greatest homework， 就係要修復佢同神之間嘅關係。The lesson that he has to learn is to、uh, restore the relationship between himself and God。啊，呢個係我下次嘅講道要講嘅。And this is my next sermon that I will preach。啊。但係做正確嘅事情。To do what is right before the Lord。啊，成日都有好好好多好大嘅代價。You know, there's a lot of cost in doing that。啊，雅各知道啦。And Jacob knows。啊，佢心中有愧於佢嘅哥哥以掃。There's guilt and he he's injured his brother Esau。啊，佢知道佢好得罪佢哥哥。He knows that he has truly offended him。啊，而家如果以掃知道佢喺邊度嘅時候。And now that Esau knows where he is。啊，佢一定走嚟報仇嘅。He will come and seek revenge。啊，但係雅各知道佢咁樣做做呢件事係神所喜悦佢要去做嘅。But going to restore relationship is something that he knows that God wants him to do。啊，佢知道如果佢咁樣去順從神嘅旨意嘅時候。Knows that if he follows the will of God。啊，神一定會好似過去咁嘅樣。God will like in the past。啊，佢同樣樣，好似過去咁樣同佢同同與佢同在，啊，去保守佢，看顧佢。God will be with him to protect him and be and lead him。啊，當佢當雅各要回家嗰個時候，佢要要向西嗰邊行。And as Jacob、uh, goes home, he must go south。Go west、uh,。Sorry, west。Go west。Go west。
。啊，我生嘅时候佢行到嚟半路呢度。So as he goes west, he comes to this place. 啊，佢呢啲停低落嚟。He stops there. 啊，佢要佢佢差佢个仆人咧，就向向南嘅去去以东。佢收佢揾啲東揾佢嘅哥哥以掃。And he sends his, uh, he sends his uh, helper south to go meet his brother. Yeah. 跟住啲僕人啊回報翻嚟話。And the servants come back and say. 哇！以掃佢帶住四百人嚟嚟迎接我哋而嚟啊。He saw has four hundred people coming to meet you. 哇！四百人係好多人嚟㗎，係嘛？ Four hundred people is a lot of people. 係一隊可以打仗嘅嘅嘅軍隊。It's enough people to fight a war. 啊，第七節咁雅講就話雅各佢浸惧怕，而且愁煩。In verse seven, it says that Jacob became fearful and worried. 哇，佢好驚同埋開，即係好愁啦。He was very worried and afraid. 啊，當咁多人向住佢嚟嘅時候，佢真係會好驚噶。So many people are coming towards him. He's afraid. 啊，我唔知我你我哋喺我哋生命嘅裏面有冇啲咁嘅經歷。I don't know. We have these experiences in our own lives. Ah, because you do 正确嘅事会带嚟更多嘅麻烦。That doing the right thing causes so much problems. Ah, 早知系咁我唔做啦。If that, if we knew that was that was the case, perhaps we shouldn't have bothered. Ah, 做好人真系冇好报啦。Being a good person, doing what's right, isn't really, you know, really good choice. Ah, 但但就算喺咁样样嘅时候。But during this time, 雅各佢并冇放弃。Jacob did not give up. He did not give up doing what he was supposed to do. He didn't turn around and run. He didn't turn around and run. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain to God. He didn't do that. He didn't complain Even if the, they were to be attacked, ah, they will not be destroyed. No, not all of them will be destroyed. Ah, this is a very classic way of doing business. This is the shrewdness of Jacob. Ah, Jacob knows what he is doing. 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 Ah, Jacob knows He did not give up, but he comes to lay his burden before God. Ah, this is Jacob's first prayer. 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 We see how he understands who God is. Ah, 同埋睇到佢喺佢靈命上面嘅個改變。That his, we see the change within his spirit. Ah, 喺第九節佢佢話。In verse nine, he says. Ah, 佢稱神為耶和華。He calls God Jehovah. Ah, 啊，神咧呢個字咧，係係係 Elohim. This word God is commonly Used as Elohim. Ah, 正經成日用 Elohim 嚟稱呼神。And the Bible uses Elohim a lot of times to refer to God. Ah, 係講到咧神嗰個普世性嘅 universality. It, it points to、uh, God、uh, being the, the the universal God to everyone. Ah, 係係做我哋全人類嘅神。That God is、uh, to all、uh, people. 因為我哋每一個人都係照著神嘅形象做嘅。That we are all made in God's image。啊，每一個人啊，無論你係啊，你邊一個國家、邊一個民族。No matter what country, no matter what race。啊，每一個人嘅心靈嘅深處裏面。Everybody's soul。啊，佢知道有一位神。Knows that there is a God. Ah, this God is all powerful and all wise. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. Ah, He is able to lead people to worship Him and to worship Him. 
We, man did not worship God. Man wanted to be his own God. And we only use God to achieve the things that we want. Oh, when we go to nature and we see, wow, we see God's great creation. You know, people are amazed. Because this beautiful scenery brings peace into their own heart. And man creates images and idols from wood. And we think that value comes from our Riches in our possessions. Uh, that when I achieve all this wealth that I have value. Uh, Do you see that? That man worships the created things instead of worshiping God. Uh, so when we see this common grace, uh, they cannot see God. They only see themselves. That how everything benefits them. So common grace cannot save an individual. Uh, and God has chosen Jacob. Abraham, Abraham. sorry. Uh, and through Abraham, he creates a covenant. And that he's promised him the land of Canaan. And that he will have many descendants. As many as the stars in the sky or the sands on the seashore. That he will bless all nations. And that one of his descendants, the Messiah will come. He will save man from their bondage to sin. This Messiah will crush the head of Satan. This Jehovah will come. The one that is Jehovah is the one that comes to make covenant with man. And this covenant is a blessing. And this covenant is, comes from Abraham and it transfers all the way to Jacob. Oh, Isaac uh, to Jacob, sorry. <coughs> and as we look at the Old Testament, it talks about the covenant. And the, the Old Testament talks about this saving covenant of God. And it goes all the way to the New Testament. And it comes and it, and it talks about the coming of Jesus Christ. And in the Old Testament, we see Satan is always there to try to destroy God's plan. And he causes suffering to God's people. He does all he can to, to quiet the Messiah and to destroy him. So if the Israel people can destroy the Messiah, then Israel will be destroyed themselves. I think that if Jesus is crucified, then God's plan of salvation is destroyed. 
But this Jehovah, the one who brings the covenant, that out of his love and his faithfulness, in Old Testament we see that he protects his people. No matter where they go, God will bring them back. And we see that how God protects the life of Jacob. And he preserves his life. So as we come and read the prayer of Jacob, and if we read the, the prayers of David, if we hear the prayers of Isaiah or Jeremiah, as we read the Old Testament, we can have an assurance that even if we go through suffering now, that we will be like them and experience God's presence, that we will experience God's protection. Because God is the one that makes covenant and keeps covenants. So every time we open and read the Bible, we can have a comfort through the Word. And in Psalms 46.1 it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And in verse 10, Jacob says, Says, I am not I am not worthy of the least of all the deeds of the steadfast love and the faithfulness that you have shown to your servant. Hmm. Hmm, this doesn't sound like Jacob, does it? Yeah. Lord, your steadfast love and faithfulness is something that I do not deserve. Many of us have things that have gone through many difficulties. And because of their difficulties, they have a very hard time in believing in Jesus Christ. Think about everything that they've gone through, the difficulties. They think that because everything they have today, it's all dependent on their own hands. That he had wisdom and his own uh, wise choices. That he tackled his uh, difficulties. So because of today, because today is something that I have earned. It's something that I deserve. I should have. God is not the one that protects me. Jacob himself was like this previously. He relied on his own wisdom and became proud. But God used his time in his father-in-law's house, 20 years. So that even a self-confident person like Jacob would come and say, that, that 
by by himself and and with one staff when he left his home and now he has come to to much possessions two camps and he and he acknowledges all this is because of God's grace and his providence all that he has is not something that he deserves that man before this almighty God we realize how small and minuscule we are that Jacob knows that he's not like God. He's not all-knowing and all-powerful. He knows that his own wisdom and strength is finite. There's a lot of things that happen around him. Changes and difficulties. Things that he knows he cannot control. Especially when he faces uh, salvation, the, the problem of salvation, the guilt. Yeah. The guilt of. He, 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 does not, he cannot face the understanding of what it means to salvation and dying and where do we go in eternity. With all, within all these problems, there's, man, there's nothing that we can do. No matter how much we try, because no matter how good we are, the good that we do, we'll never achieve God's standards. And, and, and when we don't achieve God's standards, we will not be, God will not give us his salvation. Yeah. Because there's nothing that we can do before God to give to him. That would satisfy our guilt and for God to bless us with life. So that we can know that we are guilty and undeserving. Nothing we can do to be proud of. Before a holy God. We are filthy and sinful. If not, Bible says, if not for the grace of God, to, bring, to allow his son to come into this world, to bear the punishment that we should have faced, that he was nailed on the cross for our sins. God did not have that obligation. God did not have that obligation to bless us or save us. But in Jesus Christ, He's willing and through His love and His faithfulness, for though unworthy we are, he comes and gives to us freely his son. And what is this? That our sins may be forgiven. That we can become the children of God. That we have the assurance of salvation. Our lives will face many problems. But we can cling to God's promise. And that we cling to his promises and pray. 
。就算喺我哋两手空空嘅时候。That even though we come with empty hands。就算喺我哋无助无望嘅时候。That when we are we felt hopeless and nowhere to go。我哋都可以紧紧嘅揸住神嘅应许。We can cling to God's promise。啊，因为佢系嗰个立约而又守约嘅神。Because he is the one that creates and keeps covenants。反正雅各唔单止为佢自己嘅生命祈祷。Jacob does not just pray for himself。亦都为咗佢嘅家人同埋佢嘅后代嚟祈祷。He prays for his family and his descendants。啊，即系如果如果佢哋嘅生，如果佢生生命有危险嘅时候 ，When there's danger in life， 咁神就话佢应该过话佢有好多后代。And God says that He will have many descendants. Ah, those 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 descendants are from where? If they all die, they all die. And where will these descendants be if they all pass? If they are all killed? Ah, 正如我哋可以喺神面前可以都凭住神嘅应许嚟咁样去祈祷。So that we can have we can have assurance of God's promise to pray. Because we know God has promised us things. Ah, these 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 things. 喺亞太福音十一章第廿八節。In Matthew eleven twenty eight， 啊，佢凡勞苦擔重擔嘅人，可以到我舍裏來。Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden， 我就會使你們得安息。And I will give you rest。當我哋睇呢啲時候，有兩樣嘢去提醒我。And when we look at this, there's two things this reminds me of。啊，第一就係。正係因為我哋唔配得神咁大嘅嘅恩典。That we are truly unworthy of God's great salvation。啊，唔配得神咗俾我哋嘅慈愛同埋信實嘅時候。When we aren't, when we aren't worthy, when we are undeserving of God's love and faithfulness。我哋唔好忽略咗神咗，就俾神已經俾咗個我哋嘅救恩。We do not neglect the salvation that God has given to us. 喺希伯来书第二章第一到第三节咁样讲。In Hebrews one two verse one to three， 哇，所以我哋应当越发敬重咗听见的道理，恐怕我们随流失去。Therefore we must pay attention, much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away。啊，我哋咗听见过嘅。或者我哋自己讀過嘅聖經嘅道理。So the words that we have heard or the words of the Bible that we have read。啊，唔好隨呢個隨住呢個世界嘅潮流，我哋我哋失去咗。Don't let the, the society and the wisdom of the, the world pull it, take it away。唔好讓我哋心中嘅慾望帶住我哋走離開神。Don't let the, the desires of our heart pull us away from God。啊，第二節佢話：那藉著天使所傳的話，既是確定的。凡犯叛逆的都受了該受的報應。第三節，我們若忽略了這麼大的救恩，怎能逃罪呢 ？For since the message declared by angels provided to be proved to be reliable, and every transgression or disobedience received a just retribution, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? 呢、这、一個忽略好多時候會反映咗我哋今日呢個崇拜嘅態度嘅裏面。This neglect is sometimes reflected in the way that we worship。啊，我見到有人揸住支筆喺度寫筆記。I see that some are taking notes with a pen。好嘅。That's good。但我亦都見到人喺度掃掃手機。I see also that some are people swiping their phones。我亦都見到人個眼睛好疲倦。And I see that some、uh, Our、eyes are shut. 但係耶穌都喺馬馬哈西馬尼園咁樣講。But God in Gethsemane reminded us. 啊，叫佢門徒要同佢一同去警醒祈禱。That his disciples, he reminded the disciples to be alert to pray with Jesus. 啊，免得入了迷惑去 temptation. Do not fall into temptation. 第二嘅個個要忽略，唔好忽略嘅嘢係乜嘢咧？ The second thing we should not forget. Ah, do not fall into temptation. Or neglect. Do not neglect to pray. Ah, 正如我哋一間會唱嗰首詩歌，是啊耶穌恩友。And in the song that we're singing later. Ah, 好多人睇祈禱係一個責任。We see that some people see that prayer is 
just a responsibility. Ah, is a We see prayer as a chore, and we come just to, because we want something, and we pray. Ah, when we see the Bible, and when the Christians come to pray, Prayer is such a privilege that God has given to them. They can come to God and cry out, Abba, Father. That as a child, they could bring all their cares and concerns to the throne of God. And as that song says, that the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, when we fail to pray, we forfeit peace and there's needless pain that we bear. Let us, let us all uh, sing together this song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Let us sing this song in a prayerful attitude. Let us all rise. Let us all remain standing for the benediction. <laughs>